The proposed development of the shipyards downtown taking a step towards reality. Jaguars team owner Shad Khan announced how much the city would pay for the project. Yeah, Khan said taxpayers would help fund the removal of the fire museum, the marine fire station, and the docks near Metro Park. Tonight, three public community meetings were held on the proposal. News for Jack supporter Bree Isom was at the gathering in Riverside tonight. And Bree Jags president Mark Lamping speaking at this meeting. He talked about the purpose of this development, which is to make the city the greatest it can be. Now, people at this community meeting expressed their praises and their concerns. Community members spoke out with um, concerns. So I, I do have concerns about putting the hotel on park property. And praise. And we certainly need to get on board. This. For the shipyard development project on Monday night. Shad Khan, the owner of the Jaguars, announced Monday afternoon that the shipyard development project would be mostly funded by the Jaguars. This project includes a new Four Seasons Hotel and condominiums complex near Metro Park, plus offices for the Jaguars. In Shad Khan's statement, he talked about just how much money the city and private investment will be paying for this project. Quote, private investment will exceed $300 million for the Four Seasons Hotel and condominiums and the nearby office building, with Iguana Investments responsible for nearly all upfront cash expenditures and any cost overruns. The city's only upfront cash costs will be limited to the relocation of the fire museum, marine fire station, and dock to facilitate this new development. Mark Lamping, the president of the Jaguars, led the conversation Monday night and wanted people to have their questions answered. I'm so happy that we... Uh that we chose to do this. Uh, I enjoy hearing from supporters. I enjoy hearing from people that can give us constructive criticism. Ted Powell, a Jacksonville resident and Jaguar season ticket holder, is optimistic about this new project. I appreciate uh, the way that uh, the Jaguars have responded to uh, some of the mistakes that they made with the Lot J, and uh, they're holding the community uh, meetings, which is uh, effective. Uh, they're doing more listening. And I'm told the Downtown Investment Authority will review the development plan of this on Friday. Now the City Council gets final say in this. And coming up at 11, I'm going to tell you a major concern that people at this meeting, ra at this meeting raised tonight. I'm reporting live in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4, The Local Station.